Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Frat and I'm based in Nova Scotia in Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my life experiences about life here in Canada. Also, I do a bit of immigration because I'm a regulated Canadian Impian consultant and RCIC, where I help you with your study applications to come study here for visas permanent residence, school admissions, work permits, and things like that that has to do with Canadian immigration, I'm your plug. So in this video, it's a continuation of my, from my previous video, if you have seen that, it's about uh, last year vacation, 2022, this was in July, so this was us when we got to Ontario, Toronto. Let me do a room tour. So this is the, what the bathroom looks like. This is a Toronto hotel. Uh, just a simple room. Have an office table there. Get two rooms, two beds rather. <laughs> uh, and that's it. You remember that on this tour, we have gone to Montreal, we've gone to Winnipeg in Manitoba, but Toronto, Ontario was like our main destination for family vacation. So we just drove past uh, Montreal, took a break, then went to Winnipeg for the family wedding we came for, and then we came to Ontario, which was like our main uh, place that we, we, we had planned to take a vacation in. So the first thing we got to do was to visit somebody, like a family uh, member, uh, that lives in Scarborough in Ontario. So this was us. I think the next day or the day we got there. I think we got there in the night. I can't even remember again. It's been <laughs> it's been over ten months. So I know it was the first thing we got to do anyway. So we drove to Scarborough. It's about almost an hour or forty five minutes or thereabout from uh, Toronto that we had our hotel in. So we drove there and then on our way we saw this uh college, Centennial College. You know, I'd been doing like school tours. I'd done two tours in Manitoba. So I thought, oh, let's branch this place and let's do a tour of this school. So we branched Centennial College. Just did, did like a very brief uh tour. I didn't really like go around. We just drove past it. So it was uh, a lot. A number of my students also. I've gotten admissions for them at uh, Centennial College, so it was good to see the school in person, right? So, uh, that school is in Scarborough, uh, that's this college there. And then around our vicinity as well, we have the Scarborough campus of the University of Toronto. So, we went there as well. I did go into this one, a proper, like a tour, like a mini tour of the school. I have a video of this tour on my channel. I think I put that up about eight months ago or thereabouts. So, if you'd like to see it, uh, please look it up. Uh, if you like to come to this school, you see my tour about the school, the school fees and things like that. Uh, it's a high ranking school and it's quite expensive. Uh, let me note that, but it's a, it's a very good school if you're able to afford the fees. And this was us when we got to our family's, uh, friend's place. Uh, the kids took pictures. We ate, we had a nice time here and we had here to you like in the nights. I remember, um, yeah, and that's how that went. So we went home, see how dark it was. It was around 10 or thereabouts on this day. And this was the next morning in our hotel. This hotel also offered complimentary breakfast. So when I book a hotel, I also like to, you know, consider that, you know, if they offer a breakfast, it was the person hotel in Toronto, they offer breakfast. But this point don't have a pool. Because the hotels in Toronto were not smiling. Of which uh, I went to Toronto in April of that same year. So this was July. I was in Toronto in April for uh, an award that I got. And the hotel I booked, uh, what was the name of the hotel again now? Uh, I, I can't remember now. Uh, he had he had uh, a pool and it was not even as expensive as this one but this that one was not available at the time we, i booked this one it was like the height of uh summer so it was all booked out i really wish that you know i was able to get a space in that place but we did not so we got we had to settle for that one even this one that didn't even have a post it was still expensive you know in my previous video i was saying how expensive hotels are in canada so anyway so that's us uh the next day we went to niagara fall that's me driving. I don't know if it's just me, but when I drive in a place that I'm not, I'm not, I don't live in, I have like this anxiety. I'm a bit anxious, you know, but that's me. I don't know if it happens to somebody else. So that's us on our way to Niagara Falls. Uh, it's about 
I don't know, about one hour or so drive. I can't remember, or even more than that uh, from Toronto. So we drove there. So if you come to Toronto or Ontario, uh, Niagara Falls is one of like the top most destinations for tourists. So if you so if you are looking for a place to go to, I highly recommend Niagara Falls. So that was us driving there. And uh, Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls uh, at the southern end of you know, Ontario. And it spans across... It's, uh, the, one side is in uh, Canada. Another side is in uh, US, in New York. So this was us on the Canada side in Niagara City. So uh that's that's it's a very like it's a very busy place uh during summer and it's also like I said so I know I remember I said that hotels is one of the things that you have to spend money on on vacation in Canada. Another one is tours as well. I know it's it took it cost me a lot of money for like the seven of us to book a so they had different uh attractions in Niagara Falls. So this was us we went to one called Journey Behind the Falls. So if you don't want to pay for any uh, attraction, it's free to just be around the waterfall. So this was us before we entered, uh, you know, for the attraction we paid for. So it was just, so you're able to just stay around. You don't have to go in if you don't want to pay money. So this one is free, just stay around. But you don't get to, like, to be up close uh, to the fall. So you want to experience, like, the falls up close, then you have to pay for an attraction that get, gets you in to the place and get closer to the fall. So this was us waiting for a turn uh for the attraction that was paid for and uh yeah that's that's about niagara for outside of it so i'll show you when we got in uh to the place i think that this a particular waterfall is one of the like the wonders of the world like it's 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 better experienced really than just seeing the pictures or the videos even these videos, these pictures, is not even doing justice to how marvelous, to how beautiful, you know, it is. God is really, really wonderful. Nature is beautiful. And I wonder how much money they make from this place <laughs> year in, year out. Because there were loads and loads and loads and loads of people that paid for attractions, you know, inside the fall. So this was us just, you know, around the place. It felt good to go there because, I mean, I've been meaning to go to Niagara Falls. I've been to Ontario like three times or four times now. And this is my first time going there. So I was happy I, I took that off my bucket list. So if you're in Ontario, uh, do be able to take a, you know, take a tour uh, to Niagara Falls. I think you'd enjoy it. I'm going to come outside and tell you where to go when you get in there. Okay, thank you. Are the ticket, let's go. Can I? I'm gonna call them. I was just inside. And when you go inside those doors there, you're gonna be like in a little food court. Yeah, I've been just, there as well. Okay, beyond that? Yeah. You go over to the right. Yeah. Away from that big line, you kinda gotta go through the line. Okay. There is an entrance for people with tickets. Ticket. A, yeah, those okay. are just the tickets for the one track. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. So once we got our tickets, we went in for the attraction uh, we paid for. There are different ones, actually. So the one we paid for is called uh, Journey Behind uh, the Falls. Yeah. So it's better you buy your ticket outside. It saves you time from staying on the line. Uh, because those that didn't get ticket from outside, they had to like be on the queue. And the queue was quite long. So I'm, I'm glad that I got a ticket before we went in. So that's the ticket and then we we went in the line for the with those with tickets was very short so we were able to get in uh faster and once we got in there was like there were many people honestly i wonder how much they make <laughs> like they make so much money i'm very very sure about that because just seven of us i know how much i paid for just to go for that particular attraction and we had we had several ones and they are you know different prices uh anyway we went in and they gave us like a raincoats so our clothes will not get wet. So that's us showing our tickets. It was canny to see if it's, you know, legit. There were many people, right? So we went in and we got our, um, our raincoats. Like, we got the yellow one. They are different colors. So different colors have... So uh, and I saw red. I saw blue. So those ones have different uh, attractions that they paid for. Some were, like, on the water itself. That was, like, more expensive. I had to pay for this one that I could afford. <laughs> so we went, and this one too was not bad actually. I mean, we got really close to the water and we experienced the fall. 
and that's us and before we got to the full actually there was like this tunnel we went in in and there were like different information about the tour about the falls how we originated you know just things that you know you should know about it so we read all of that so we went through an elevator i actually went into the elevator and they were like we were going in batches like there were many people guys there were so many people we went in batches so we went to the elevator and that's us come out of the elevator and then we went into the tunnel i was talking about earlier there were different like different information about the fall really and we just stood went around it was a good experience actually it's something you should experience like it's, it's only one should experience at least even if it's once in a lifetime so if you're in canada or you you you're looking to visit canada i recommend niagara fall i mean there's nothing so like special it's just like experiencing the fall really and so like me if you like nature i think you'd enjoy this you'd really really appreciate you know the wonders of god <laughs> If I say so. And that's all just walking. It was quite a walk before we got to behind the falls itself. And that's so as we are going into people we are coming out. Like but it was it was quite orderly. It was it was very well managed, even with the crowd. They were like controlling the traffic. So they were telling you guys to wait for some this ones to pass. So I think it was well managed. So kudos to the to those that you know um manage the, the the falls i mean they make money so yeah so they do a good job i would say uh, i was just good to experience this like i said before so that's off my bucket list now on to the next uh it took me like six years to go to niagara fall after coming to canada we went in july of um 2022 and we came here in 2016 august so almost six years before i was able to experience it i mean better late than never so many people like say the fall it was just so beautiful like i said videos will not even do enough justice to this place you have to witness it experience it you know in person and that's us i just walking around the tunnel reading the information the history behind the fall and things like that and then finally we got to the fall itself and it was just so 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 beautiful there were many people here as well look at the view just you know there's the stairs that so you can first of all see from up if you now go down so we just saw the view from up there and then we went down to experience it we are all wet <laughs> of course that's why they always give rain coats you know just so you don't get too wet even with the with the like the covering we're still wet but it was just a beautiful beautiful sight. see that people see the people on the on the on the ferry those ones had blue uh rain coats so they that's another toy itself that one is way way expensive maybe the next time i go by god's grace i would like i would like to like be on that water even though it looks scary because <laughs> uh, that's another another set in red so i saw those in blue another one in red we're in yellow so those ones on red and in in blue like we're on the water itself i don't know if i'll be able to do it but i mean i'm quite adventurous so adjust me why not uh but at least for now we did this one we got close to the water we felt the water we experienced the views it was just all beautiful you know like all of us seven of us the grandma still went you know so it was so beautiful from research if you google like the top most tourist attraction in canada Niagara Fall will Niagara Fall will likely top the list, and I wonder how much money they make. I can't I can't stop saying this because I know how much I paid for seven people. So and people I met there, I can't even count. I can't even put place a number to it. So I wonder how much they make. Like and people come there every day in summer. Not even only summer. I saw one of my friends that went there. Was it during a spring or even winter? Like they have attractions, even though might not be like you might not experience this much activity in winter or in you know, other seasons like in summer but they still have things they also do people go there during winter during spring during fall as well so i wonder how much they make honestly and i think that every country should you know to old dear what they have like and make money off it I mean, I don't want to talk about Nigeria because I know we have falls like this as well. I know if you if you make it attractive, people will come and pay money. I mean, what is there that I mean? It's not something out of place. Like it's just waterfall, but people will still pay to experience it. So I think that every government, particularly African governments, should do better 
in making our attractions very attractive you know we have waterfalls for example i've not been to like i know that there's a waterfall in bauchi also like in the north i really really we would love to experience it but you know when it comes to like safety security people are also concerned about the safety of where they want to go to you know so i think if government makes places uh, a particular attraction safe secure people you know, will come to experience it so that's me up there i took a picture i wrote a video of me up there just to see the view it was really really beautiful like a, a professional camera would do better justice to this view it was just beautiful breathtaking and i'm happy i was able to experience this and that was how you know how it went and then we went back so we went through the elevator again to go outside another set came in like people are just trooping in and out of this place like <laughs> it was it was it was it was something to experience anyway so we went out and then when we got out they have this um so we, when we went out we were asked to like remove yeah be able to remove your your raincoat and put it in that you know trash i can i don't know i don't know if they reuse them i don't know but we, the ones we got were new i assume uh anyways that's the gift shop around the niagara falls so if you want to buy any customized item like canada or any province they're like you know branded uh, that's that like i was saying before that you don't have to pay money to go uh, experience anything you're able to just stay around and and, and enjoy the views but like you saw it's not the same thing like going close to the water so if you can pay for an attraction to experience the water closer i think it's i mean it's good it's something you can experience i mean even if just once in your life uh, that's uh, my opinion see I, I was still even wetting my clothes on top even the back of my shirt was still wet let me mention that uh it's best to if you want to experience niagara falls it's not something you go there for a few hours or one day what i understand people do is they book like days there are many hotels around niagara falls like many 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 hotels see i mean if you drive around hotels Lokumbe, like so many hotels so what people do is they lodge in the hotels and they tour niagara fall for days there are tons of activities you only experience one activity there are many ones you can experience so you want to like really really enjoy the place book like just mark out a number of days i didn't know that's what people do it was a friend of mine that, 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 that was like oh they had to go there for like three or four days booked a close by hotel and you know because you're not able to do everything in one day even the ones we did was just one day and we spent a couple of you know uh, hours there so that's a tip i have for you the next time i go i already you know i'll probably you know book some days out and enjoy the place thoroughly so we had like a drive around to experience a very big place actually very big place different you know very beautiful buildings around and things like that so we just drove by just drove around to see the scenery before we went to eat at this point i would be already hungry I think it was already afternoon or even evening or thereabouts and like i said before this was the this is the canada side there's the u.s side when we drove to new york uh another day we we went past the niagara fall in new york so yeah i'll show you our new york trip so this is just uh toronto ontario you see all these activities you see all these things it's like, like different uh playgrounds play places around the niagara fall so yeah uh hopefully we go next time and we get to experience uh, more of niagara falls and once we are done with driving around touring around niagara fall we went to look for a place to eat and we got a place that was like that offered like a buffer uh buffet style dining uh which was good now, i remember the hotel i was trying to remember before it was four points that i came when i came in april it was four points sheraton i lodged at and they had an indoor swimming pool but we couldn't get i couldn't get a, a spot for that when we got came in summer because it was booked out another thing i'd observe is hotels here sell like like water like here like hotel sell you you think i really don't make money but they make money because people like take vacations like regularly in canada anyways that's us in the uh, restaurants we went and you know took some food so it was buffet style like i said so you made it uh more enjoyable you ate what you wanted to eat and they had varieties it was not bad but it was pricey and i think i should also add you know is that food is also expensive like dining out eat out is expensive in canada
So when you're on a tour, like a vacation, your flights, your hotel, your tours, and food is what you should, you know, budget for. Those things take money. Anyways, that's us. We're done with our food and off we went. That's what we got to do in our second day in our first and second day in Ontario. So I'll get to show you some other things we did. Uh, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this particular one. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share my video. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, take care of yourself and be good. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye.